would say in the past I have had to go through a scan because I found a lump in my breast at some point and I was I'm normally healthy so I wasn't really upset about it but then the GP referred me then to to within your hospital but what I wish she had done was maybe given me a leaflet on what could be the cause of it and what it could that if it were cancer what, what are the steps that I should be aware of and if it's not then what could it possibly be? So it could be like in form of a leaflet or even give me information on the website that I can visit to, to get that kind of information. I find video clips would also be helpful because she said, well, I think there's just something, she, she said she didn't think it was cancerous, which was fine. And I was happy with that, but I wish I had known what else was there and what the causes are and what I can do to avoid a similar situation in the future. I think definitely it has to be timely and relevant I think to whatever situation I'm in and easily accessible. Many people are on the internet and that's great. Other people don't have access to the internet so maybe a leaflet would be helpful um, and also where to go for help. Maybe is there a help, help line that I can, I can call and talk to somebody about what my worries are. I do know the NHS has a helpline, don't they? I just don't know what number it is. I think all of it has been useful, but maybe, maybe not enough of it. Um, and also maybe if I could get signposted somewhere where I could gain more information. I mean, when I went to the Withenshaw Hospital, they did give me a leaflet later on and they told me it was just a cyst, something benign, nothing to worry about and it happens to people my age. That, that was reassuring. That was really reassuring and then I could go on to the website and I think, was there a video? No, there was just more information on it. So that was really helpful. I think leaflets, especially for those who don't have access to the internet. So you have pockets of communities who may not have access to the internet, people who um, are elderly and are not uh, computer savvy. So that kind of information being readily available will be very much appreciated, I'm sure, in our community.